starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Timmy, glad to see you, Mrs. Martin. Oh, Mr. Haynes. Hi, that's a nice load of turkeys you're shipping. Thank you. Say, Timmy, if you're figuring on shipping that fine dog years away, you're gonna have to crate her just like I did my turkeys. Send Lassie away? Not in a million years. We're here to pick up a package Mom ordered, all the way from Chicago. So I guess I better check with the station master, see if it's arrived. in store for them. Sure sounds sad. Or mad. Yeah, and Plum Loco, too. Haven't seen one yet had brains enough to come in out of the rain. Oh, I'm sure glad that train is on time or I'd be in trouble. I left the farm right in the middle of a real ticklish job. Abandoned turkeys. I gotta finish for dark. Boy, sure wish I could watch you ban those turkeys. You and your mom would like to stop on your way home. Well, sure, but I... It arrived. Come on, dear, let's go home. Ask her. Uh, Mrs. Martin, maybe you and Timmy would like to stop by on your way home and watch me band my birds. Oh, so that's what you two have been cooking up. It'll just be for a little while, Mom. Well... And it's so educational. All right, I give up. And I give in. Sorry, boy, no dogs allowed. Gee, Lassie wouldn't hurt your turkeys. Well, it's not Lassie, Timmy. It's those dumb birds of mine. They're apt to spook at most anything, especially the sight or sound of a dog. I can't even risk having a watchdog around. Come on, now, let's leave Lassie in the car and roll up the windows. Mr. Haynes, I... Go on, Timmy, you better do it. Lassie won't hold it against you. Okay, Mom. Sorry, Lassie. It's not your fault. But those turkeys, they're just plum loco. Come on, girl. Get in the car, girl. I hate to do this, but there's no telling what those fool birds will do. They might even stampede and trample each other to death. Oh, I understand. We won't stay long, girl. Honest. Thanks, son. I think I'll show you the young birds first. They're over here. Well, 
Well, this is my new crop. They're called poults at this age. You sure have a lot of them. You know, I've heard a lot of the farmers complain about their poultry being stolen. Yep, been one of mine gone most every night this week. If I don't stop losing poults soon, by Thanksgiving, I stand to lose my shirt. Can't you do something about it? Well, I've offered a $25 reward for bringing in the rustler or helping running him down. I don't know how much good it'll do. Rustler? Reward? Sounds like a Western movie. Well, if you see any suspicious-looking fella hanging around the neighborhood, you know, somebody looks like he doesn't belong here, you let me know right off. Never can tell. You might wind up with that reward. Golly. You came over here to see me ban turkeys, didn't you? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> this is where we banned them. Go ahead, do another one, boys. Show them how you do it. What's the matter? Hey, 
Hey, you better get out of here, dog. Them birds are dangerous. Go on. Get before you get your eyes pecked out. Go on. Go on. Get. There's keepers. Would you, girl? your teeth. Timmy, did you hear me? Mom, Mom, what do you suppose? Timmy, what in the world? Well, Lassie found the turkey rustler. Come on, we have to tell Mr. Hayden. Timmy. Yes, Mom? What's this about the turkey rustler? Well, we saw one. That man was fixing to cook one of Mr. Haynes' turkeys on his campfire. Are you sure it was one of Mr. Haynes's? Sure, I'm sure. Were you close enough to see the band? No, but we probably didn't even have one. He was just a little pulled. But I'm sure it's that turkey napper, because Lassie led me straight to his hideout. Didn't you, girl? Oh, Timmy, accusing someone of a theft is a very serious charge. What you saw doesn't prove the man stole the turkey. Gee, Mom, there it was, plain as day. 
How else would he get it? Well, all right. I'll get dressed and we'll go tell Mr. Haynes and let him decide what's to be done. Lassie, don't go away. You're the chief witness. Mr. Haynes? I think Timmy's jumping to conclusions. He saw a man who might be the rustler. Where'd you see him, Timmy? By his campfire near the railroad tracks. But Bear's investigating. All right, you and your dog lead me to him, boy. Okay. Wait a minute. Be on the safe side. I better go get my rifle. alone. You two wait here and hold the dog. I don't want anybody to get hurt. Wait a minute. I want to talk to you. What about? Turkey rustlers. Rustlers? Oh, you got the wrong man, mister. I'm a field worker. Just got me a job near Capital City. I never stole nothing in my life. Except maybe a freight ride, which I'm aiming to do right now to get me to my job. How do you explain those turkey bones, then? I found a young turkey. Come on, I'm taking you to the sheriff. Oh, now, wait a minute, mister. I may be poor, but I got rights. Now, I didn't steal your turkey. I found it, I tell you. I found it over there. You expect me to believe that? Look, mister, unless I get on that freight, I'm going to lose my job. Please let me go. Come on. Let's get going. <laughs> This is the man, Timmy? Yes, sir. That's him. Lassie, come back here! That's your dog, son. You better get her out of there before that old bad luck bird puts her eyes out. Lassie! Timmy, watch out! Get out! It was a very brave thing you did. Oh, well, no more than your boy and his dog, ma'am. Thanks, mister. You know, I still got to take you into custody. But I'm innocent, I tell you. Well, if you're innocent, you have nothing to worry about. Maybe I haven't at that. Here's your evidence. And there's your rustler. I'm sorry, son. 
You know, I was offering a $25 reward for the capture of the rustler. Seems to me you deserve it. If you want to come back over to my place, we can take care of it. Well, that's mighty nice, but... Well, it's Lassie that really should have the reward. She knew who the wrestler was all along. Lassie, we don't need that money, do we, girl? You know, mister, if you put a wire roof over your young turkey pens, you wouldn't be bothered with no more rustlers. Well, that's a good idea, son, but I don't have that much wire. <laughs> you know, this was almost as exciting as a real western. Almost. Now, listen, Timmy, enough is enough. Now, from now on, there are going to be no more Westerns, real or make-believe. That order goes for you, too, Lassie. Well, Lassie, whether you like it or not, I guess Mom's talking turkey. 